the Great Dismal Swamp, an impenetrable green wilderness in North Carolina that holds a deep American secret. For centuries, there were stories of people who lived here, Native Americans, some poor whites, and runaway slaves. Archaeologists from American University are discovering evidence that confirms a little-known chapter of American history. People who escaped slavery to form their own communities became known as maroons, a word some scholars believe is derived from the Spanish word cimarron, meaning wild or untamed. Each settlement is a unique story of resistance against the inhumanity of slavery. There were skirmishes. Uh, in order for them to survive and get food, many times they were raiding the plantation homes uh, to secure food, to, to steal it, because they had to survive. So there were attacks that occurred, and in some instances, the militia was called out to try to uh, capture and, uh, and return these individuals to slavery. In some cases, they did. The team has discovered evidence that the Maroons were prepared to defend themselves. There's a blue tarp over there. Located at the top of a hill filled with thick underbrush, there's a site where Dan believes a defense structure once stood. Very optimal position. You're looking down on anyone coming in, so you have this sort of high point advantage. When Sayers and his students first found this site, they knew immediately they had something remarkable. One possibility is a scaffold, platform, lookout tower. So the pattern here is just something totally different. We began to find these munition caches. A lot of lead shot came out of it, some gun flint, and there was also some nails that were found in the general area. The artifacts they found date from 1800 to 1860. Knowing that the outside world had penetrated the interior of the swamp, this community probably would have needed to protect themselves because of threat of contact with the outside world. Based on this evidence, Dan believes the structure may have looked something like this. With the fort in place, the Maroons were well defended. 